This is Baja SAE Shop Talk, the official podcast of the Baja SAE series. Hey everybody, welcome to this preview episode for Baja SAE Maryland. We are just a few days away and we are getting excited to be back on the road out with you guys. Today I'm joined by Steven, who is the lead organizer for Baja SAE Maryland. This is the second event at Maryland at Bud's Creek and we're really excited to go back. It's a great site. It's one of our favorites and Steven and his team run a really smooth event. So if this is your first time there, you will really enjoy it, I'm sure. So Steven, I just wanted to start off talking about Bud's Creek. It's one of the few motocross tracks we still get to to go to. First of all, thanks for having me here on this uh, webcast. I think um one of the really unique things about the site is the elevation change uh, and sort of the extreme terrain that the motocross course offers. One of the really uh, big features that we tried to focus on was centralizing a lot of the events so uh, spectators can see pretty much everything that's going on from one location. Um, so that's that's one of the big things. Being ex-Baja competitors, we all really wanted to put a lot of emphasis on making it easy for the competitors to get around the site. Honestly, like you said, all the tracks are are visible for spectators, and with a lot of our teams, with a lot of our teams coming from the East Coast, it's probably a safe assumption to assume that we're going to have quite a few spectators there. So this will be a great site for them. Uh, there's parking, there's great views, and like you said, the tracks offer a little bit of a different um, view, and and for spectators as well as a different challenge for some of the teams. So. This is our second time back at your event. Last time we had sales presentation in a different location. I want to make sure teams are aware of that change. Yeah, so this follows our sort of uh, mentality to sort of uh, centralize everything and make it really easier for the competitors. So the last time we went off site uh, about a mile down the road to another facility. Um, This time we actually put some emphasis to bring some extra um, capabilities on site. So we're actually able to host sales. right on site, just outside the paddock. Fortunately, we uh, our school partners really well with Whiting Turner, um, and they were actually a sponsor for the event. Um, what they're actually doing is they're bringing some of their modular uh, construction management facilities in. So every team is going to have identical room space. Um, they'll be really quiet. Um, they're going to be I think about 12 foot by 12 foot in internal diameter. So it'll be a, a sort of nice uh, cozy environment for maybe two or three team members to discuss with the uh, the sales judges their plans uh, for their, their sales presentations. So something else we're starting this year with the addition of these facilities on site for sales presentation is the very first ever Baja SAE skill shop, sponsor skill shops. The idea is that sponsors will be able to come in, give some kind of educational presentation to teams that are interested in learning and It's a really cool opportunity to get to know your sponsor, the sponsors that are on site a little better. This year we have SolidWorks, Volvo, Cummins, Altera, and Mala all coming in. There's a couple new sponsors on that list for Baja, which is really cool, as well as some some old favorites. I know one to definitely look out for is Volvo, who will be showing off their super truck. So all of these skill shops you can sign up for online. You can go to the series resources and it's listed there under Baja SAE Maryland. It's also on the news feed. You can get the link on there. So we're not sure how many, how much space we'll be able to fit. We're going to wait till we get on site to figure that out. First come, first serve. Get registered to get your uh, information in the hands of the sponsors. All these sponsors are looking to either hire you or give you free stuff. So they really want to talk to you. This is something that was a direct request from our sponsors this year. So We're really happy to bring this to Baja. It's something that is not as easy to do in Baja because we're in a different kind of environment. But the organizers over Baja SA Maryland made it easy for us this year. So we're going to take advantage of it. I think it's a really great opportunity for the competitors. I mean, it's a... It's one thing that I wish when I was a competitor that was available to us. Um, I think... uh, you know, we were always looking for new opportunities to learn new software or learn new techniques uh, for engineering or designing components. So I think I think people should really try to take advantage of it. Yeah. And as a competitor, a former competitor who now is in industry, there is a lot to be learned in the paddocks for sure. But these extra little things that you could take advantage of at competition really make a difference when you're talking to future employers 
you know, all of our sponsors are looking to hire people right now out of our program. And this is a very easy way to get into conversation with a sponsor who just gave you a presentation. So bring your resumes, sign up for the skill shops, and uh, let's make this a success so we can justify having it at future events. We have already seen your store up on the webpage and on social media. Store is closed, but teams will still have a little bit of an opportunity to, uh, I would say a limited opportunity to purchase some of the really unique merchandise from your competition as well as pick up their stuff. You want to talk a little bit about where they can fig- figure that out? Yes. Yeah, so uh, we we close the store and those items will be, for those pre-order items that are pick up on site, will be available uh, at the central main organization area um, where the shirts will be for sale. Um, we are going to have a very limited quantity of shirts available on site for those who were unable to order online. Um, they are first come, first serve, and they are gone when they're gone. Um, so we encourage people to to get there early um, in the event and get them before um, they're all sold. Sweet. We've already talked about how unique your track is. There's a couple extra things that are relevant to your acceleration as well as your suspension. So let's go through your dynamic events. So acceleration up first. Yeah. So uh, one of the things that we put a lot of emphasis into this year is uh, safety. Uh, We noticed the first time that we ran this event uh, that the the grades are pretty extreme for most Baja competitions, both up and downhill. Um, We're having cars exceeding 40 miles an hour uh, down some of the main main hills on the course, which is uh, pretty exceptional. Um, but it also adds an extra uh, factor to think about from safety perspective. So at the acceleration event, just like we did last time, uh, we're going to be reevaluating the brake check at the end of the acceleration run. So there will be a stop box, and you'll have to also demonstrate locking up brakes at the end of acceleration. And any team that fails to do so will have to go back through a uh, brake check and demonstrate that they they have fixed that issue and their brakes do again work. And really, it's just a, a safety issue that we're trying to, to make sure that everybody has functioning brakes throughout the entire event. So the, the hill climb, uh, we take one of the steepest uh, hills on the Buds Creek motocross course, and we actually steepen it from their national race. So we add an extra five to six degrees of gradient to it. Um, and this year, we're actually looking at making it even steeper um, to, to make it even more of a challenge for the competitors. Suspension? Yeah, so suspension is uh, always an interesting event. You know, being a competitor, uh, we would always save it for last. We would wait until we had finished all the other events to make sure that we could get as many points as possible. And I think we got everybody through suspension last time, but we were one of the end races. So teams had a couple of races to get ready for competition. So we figured uh, one thing to make it fun this year, um, we're going to do a raffle where any team that attempts the suspension course before noon um, will be entered into a raffle to win one of the sales projectors um, from the the sales presentation rooms, which are all brand new. Um, And we're also going to award one of the projectors to the first team that finishes the course. Um, And we heard last time that uh, people wanted a little bit more of a challenge on the suspension course. So we're hopefully going to uh, make it just a tiny bit more challenging this time around. Sounds good to me. That's one of my favorite events to hang out there. Your your track is uh, nice and flat in that area. <laughs> so maneuverability. Yeah. So one of the things that uh, was always frustrating with maneuverability is that uh, sometimes it, it really is a subject of the host school's car to uh, design a course. So what we've done this time is we've actually uh, borrowed cars from four schools uh, locally Uh, previous cars. They're not current seasons. They're like three or four seasons old, Um, but really to try to balance the the course and make it fair for all teams. And we uh, picked cars that have uh, different steering dynamics. Uh, Some favor high speed, uh, some favor low speed maneuverability. And we've really tried to make the course a balance of of exactly that. We want to test the high speed maneuverability as well as the low speed maneuverability of the cars and and be able to differentiate from timing uh, on the track. Sounds good. Let's move on to Endurance Day. One of the really special things about your event is that you guys really make an effort to have a really great broadcast. So I want to make sure teams know about that. It was one of our um, first, honestly, really high quality broadcasts. And 
this year's competitors are lucky because they also have Pittsburgh, Kansas on the docket. So two uh, competitions with really great broadcasts is really unique for Baja and I'm sure competitors are looking forward to it. So what is the broadcast schedule like this year? Yeah, so this year um, we're going to broadcast both days. So we're going to broadcast uh, the short dynamic day and we're also going to broadcast um, the endurance day. Um, we w- also would look for maybe some competitors' voices. So if anybody's interested in being interviewed on the broadcast, we can uh, try to facilitate that so they can catch up with me or somebody else from the organization team on site. Um, but the, the interesting thing that uh, we have the luxury because one of uh, our alumni was associated with this company that they do professional video for like BMW for car commercials and things. So we really have the unique um, capability to really show off some of the cars in motion in ways that they may not be seen before. Um, and, and it will be live streamed uh, both days. Um, so you can check that out. Um, there'll be a YouTube link available for people to actually stream it and, and have people uh, check in from around the world. I think our YouTube statistics last time, we had like 118 countries around the world actually t- chime in to uh, to see the feed, uh, which was really interesting. Yeah, very cool worldwide. Um, so that link will be available. We'll make sure it gets posted on social media. It'll also be available on the Baja SAE app, which will be new this year. We're launching it at Baja SAE Maryland. So make sure you get that downloaded. We'll have that link right there on the main menu. And... We are looking forward to getting uh, your feedback on the app. So please feel free to find one of the SAE staff members there, uh, Sam, Sarah, myself. All of us are very anxious to hear your feedback. We've been working really hard on this and we're actually launching three apps in one week for two other competitions as well. So it should be a busy week for us, uh, but we're looking forward to getting back there on the road, hanging out with you guys. And the very first time you'll see us with the app, is on in the paddock. So there will actually be a paddock list that will be available right there on the app for you. So we hope that you're ready for quite a jam-packed competition. I would say there's a lot of things happening at this competition and we're kicking off this year right. Any final thoughts, Stephen? Uh, no, I just uh, I think most of our organization, actually all of our organization committee has been uh, associated with Baja and been doing a lot for Baja. Um, so I think we've really tried to focus on the competitors and make sure that uh, it'll be a fun event and uh, hopefully try to minimize some of the frustrations of uh, the first race um, when things are coming together at the last minute. Um, I know I've been there where we've been building parts of the car maybe uh, on site right before tech inspection. So hopefully uh, nobody's in that situation. Um, But we're really looking forward to having everybody down to Maryland and um, looking forward to a great event. Yeah, us too. We'll see you in just a few short days. Yep, sounds great. See you then. Thanks for listening to Baja SAE Shop Talk. As always, we want to hear from you. So email BajaSAE at SAE.org. The show notes for this episode, as well as all others, can be found at www.BajaSAE.net slash podcast. Stay safe and we'll catch you next episode.